Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. I'm not certain you can really train these guys to, uh, to drink from the squeeze bottle like I do with other snakes. Uh, it's, it takes any touch of their body as a, as a mortal threat. And... Uh, uh, won't sit still enough for a squeeze bottle to be used. Well, was that good, huh? See, I told you I had something good for you. Come on. Now relax. Relax. Here. Have some water. Have some water. Have some water. Come on. There you go. And also, I, <laughs> since antivenin is just non-existent for these guys, and there's, uh, uh, you know, the bites are somewhat necrotic and, and certainly would uh, affect your respiratory pathways. I really want to sort of stay out of their way if I can. Oh, okay, okay, look. We're not, uh, we're not being nasty. Come on, relax, 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 relax. Come on, come here. Come here. A little water. Just really tough to. Come on. They just don't make friends easy. Come on. Come on, all the good water's up here. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know, it's really tough doing this, uh, this three handed task with two hands. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. If you want to spit on the lines, you can. Come on. All right, all right, easy. They're just such nasty little critters. She's got a bad nose rub. Here, come here. Come on, have some more water. She just bashes her nose uh, constantly. Come on. Come on. Go diving again. There you go. Have a nice fresh drink of water. There you go. Go diving. No? You're finished? Okay. We'll close that for now. Now on to the next uh, guy. Hello. How are you? Huh? How are you going to behave for me today? You interested in water? Huh? You interested in a drink? Here. Come here. Hmm. Yeah, I know you want a drink. I know you're thirsty. You're just too foul to let that happen in a normal sort of way. Alright. They do, because they're so active, and just all over the place, they always fill their water dish with substrate. There you go. Come on. Come here. Come here. Right here. That's where I want you to go. Come here. Have a drink. Well, sometimes you can leave them to water and they'll have a drink. Very beautiful cobras, but just insane. These are Naya Samarensis from Samir Island in the Philippines. These are very difficult to come by cobras because the Philippines doesn't allow exportation of their wildlife. Uh, uh, you know, 
these were brought out uh, um, before that happened and uh, got some offspring uh, that were legally obtained, of course. I'm afraid if I, uh, I bother him too much and move his cage, <laughs> he'll do that and stop drinking. And I really sort of want him to drink. So, all right, there you go, bud. That was pretty good. Yeah, there's more in there for you, too. All right, all right. Relax. Now, these are youngsters that are a year younger. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to overfill its water dish with fresh because these get unlike the the older ones these guys spit like uh, you can't imagine there you go you got a full tummy from last night and you got some water now so you're in relatively good shape okay now what's the situation here with this water dish uh, I disturbed the Kraken. Here, we just overfill this. There you go. There you go, sleeping off your, uh, your dinner. Okay, now let's see how my uh, very lovely Bothrops Atrox are. These are from Guyana. Isn't she gorgeous? Look at that, huh? Easy, easy. Oh man, look at the color on her. She's a beauty. She's a beauty. Huh? You got a full tummy from yesterday, huh? Yeah, you bet. Okay, we're gonna change your water dish because your water dish has got uh, maggots in it and remains of poop. So we've got to take care of that for you, okay? So nice of you to, to poop in your water dish. Okay, here we are back at the common lancehead cage, uh, the beautiful Guyanan specimen. That's the female. And we Cleaned the water dish, uh, dipped it in Clorox, killed all the maggots and bacteria. And now we'll just overfill it and give them some humidity and not disturb the friendly pogo stick with venom. Now let's see what the male is up to. Hi bud. You're another very shy snake. He's not as colorful as the girl, is he? Huh? Hi, bud. Hi, bud. I think we're just going to overfill his water dish because I think he's okay. Maybe uh, add a little bit more and then uh, close the, the container and move on to the next beast. Well, these guys, uh, out of the six that remain, uh, were not really interested in what I had to offer to eat. Somebody took a, a whole gecko. Get your tail out of my face there, dude! <laughs> um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stuff a gecko tail uh, into the four that are in there. And we'll do it, hopefully, with their cooperation on this uh, top. Make sure I grab the, the right head and not a gecko tail. I know, I know. I'm mean. Now let's see, what can you do? Well, I think we're going to give you that one. You know, a couple of them have been sort of upchucking, regurging, whatever you want to call it, the uh, gecko tail. Come on. Come on. There you go. Come on. No, no death rolling. Come on. 
Don't make my life difficult. Come on, I'm only trying to keep you alive. There we go. Oh, <laughs> better, better the gecko tail than my finger. Come on. Usually echoes are pretty good. Once you get it down their gullet, they're not <laughs> too apt to regurgitate it back up immediately. They may, it's, may some hours later if it doesn't fit in their stomach properly. But generally speaking, once it's down, it stays down. There you go. Sorry to be uh, abrupt and rough like that, but... I'd much rather give these fat tails rather than skinny tails, depending on the individual. The sandworm will get these. She'll be thrilled. <laughs> She really likes uh, geckos. Okay, now which is the one with the stuffing? That one. That's the one that's stuffed, yep. Okay, so you're a, a reasonable, sizable. You know, we've been putting crickets in, and theoretically they've been eating them because I've seen them chase them down. It's just that when they miss, they get a mouthful of substrate, and they don't like that. But, you know, I imagine that happens in the wild uh, fairly often. Um, so, that's the brakes. Okay, now, see I like these, these fat chubby gecko tails, especially when they have the tail end of it is stiff. <laughs> if you can get it in the hole, so to speak. Maybe put a little hair around it or something. Oh, I forgot uh, the ladies are doing the Brazilian waxing these days and, and you know, you just, uh, have to hope you get the blow whale's blowhole. Uh, <laughs> uh, you don't have that, uh, that luxury anymore of having hair. You're pooping all over the place, huh? Well, that's a good sign. That means that you're eating something. But you know, these are these are big fatty tails. So <sighs> no, guys, I don't do any fatty tails myself, but. This way you get a big chunk of, of fat in your system for your metabolism and you would uh, be okay. Hello guys, yes I'm coming for you. Oh you're a skinny little guy. Aw. You're not doing so well, huh? Yeah, I know, you're just a little worm, toxic wormlet. Come on. Come on. That'll be a nice meal. I'll nip the little squiggly end off. Come on. We even tried such delicacies as wax worms on these guys. They they seemed interested, but nobody really chowed down. You know, that's the problem with bringing up these babies is these aren't the easiest critters to force feed. Now, wait. Yeah, that no, was fine. It's... That guy is yep. it? Okay, you've been, you've been watching. Yes. Well, good thing Mrs. Viper Keeper has been watching. Hello. Hello. How you doing? I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to have to meet like this, but... You know, you get a little nutrition into your, your little body, huh? I'll no. fall up back in there. Head that way. Head that way. Now, come on, extend it. Extend your neck. Stick, stick your neck out, so to speak. Because that's the best way to to get them. See, I know if 
See, if you relax, I, that means that I don't have to be rough with you. And I don't like to be rough with my babies. <laughs> yeah, I know. We've done this before, haven't we? Huh? Yeah, come on. Come on. Oh, my finger's a little too close. I don't want it to be that close, but sometimes it gets there. There we go. There we go. I know, you can stab that fang into whatever you like. As long as it's not your finger. Yep. Oh, you are being difficult, aren't you? There we go. Okay. They're done. Unfortunately, these tails will have to be trashed, but We'll go over and feed the sandworm, who will be very happy to get your leftovers. <sighs> okay. Ooh. Did I miss one? Looks like I missed one. Four, you're going to miss one five. here if you're not careful. <laughs> it's about to go over the edge. One, two. Hold on to that. Right there. Makes this a little more difficult. Okay, one, two. And I pissed off Mount High. I know. There's four in there. There's one, two, three in here. And there's four in there, which means seven. Oh, okay, good. Okay, Mom. That's how we safely extract the uh, uh, stuff without running into a highly toxic and slightly pissed off mother. Hmm. The guy in the back has already taken to uh, to mice, so we'll just uh, just guys. A spare tail here, so we'll give that to that little uh, guy that's very thin. Come here, dude, or dudette. There we go. Oh! <laughs> It's got the lightest amount of weight in most skin folds, but it will be the fastest thing on the table tonight. <laughs> of course. Of course. Huh? Oh, you really are a little skinny thing, aren't you? It, uh... Come on. Well, let's get this over with. There you go. Get your tail out of the way. No, 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 that's very bad. It's amazing how they can do that. And sometimes it's not in slow motion like it was then. It's actually in very quick motion. And there's not much you can do about it except watch it stick its fang in your finger. And that, of course, ends very badly for you, generally speaking, because it means uh, off to the hospital and anti venom and all sorts of excitement that isn't needed. Mm. Which one is the towels, the left or the right white bucket? Right. Oh, two points. I think Mom is slightly upset because I removed her children. Come on. Come on. Now they want this 
escape even though you want them to. Come on, that's the way to go home. Yeah. That way you bunch of little knuckleheads. ceremoniously dumped there at the end. Okay, you got your gecko inside. Mom's, uh, uh, okay, so that's the best I can do for them. So we'll leave this up here for another day, and let's go visit the sandworm now.